York is a city whose history spans almost 2,000 years. In 71 AD, the Romans built a fortress and ruled for more than three centuries. After the Romans, Anglo-Saxons settled in York over a period of nearly 400 years, but because we don't have many examples such as this tower to throw light upon that period, it's known as York's Dark Ages. York was then ravaged by Vikings, occupied by Norman forces under William the Conqueror, and this St. Mary's Abbey was bombarded during the English Civil War by the army of Oliver Cromwell. Although York endured centuries of turmoil and trauma, it also enjoyed long periods of prosperity. Nowhere in England has such a fine collection of ancient streets as here, like this one, Stonegate, in what is one of the best preserved medieval cities in the world. I'm here in York to explore its 2,000 year history from the time the Romans arrived to the present day. The city is so well preserved that I can read its history simply by walking around it. I'll get to see York's Roman baths. It's quite complicated from what I remember. There was cold water. Visit the Yorkshire Museum and learn of some of its great treasures. A superb object in a wonderful state of preservation. Take a tour of York Minster, the largest Gothic cathedral in Northern Europe. It's composed of 100,000 pieces of grisé glass. Get to visit the Jorvik Viking Centre with over a thousand years of Viking history. They were a resourceful people. They made the most out of what nature provided for them. Spend some time in the debtor's prison at the Castle Museum and learn the fate of one of York's most notorious criminals. He was tried and he uh, was then executed in 1739. He took it uh, very seriously. Uh, he bought a new suit of clothes. At Clifford's Tower, local York guide Ray Alexander will tell me about the anti-Semitic riots of 1190, which culminated in the massacre of York's Jewish community. And what was it that caused the, the suicide of these Jews here? Well, mainly um, people who owed the money, um, thinking that if they um, exterminated the Jews, they wouldn't have to pay their debts. Finally, at the National Railway Museum, I'll peep into Queen Victoria's favourite royal carriage. Most importantly, I'm here to discover why York is known as the historic capital of the North. <laughs>